Good morning and welcome to Beacon Church Online. This is our morning service. In a few moments, I'm going to be interviewing three of our students that will be going to move away next year on new adventures. We've also compiled together a selection of different worship songs that our great worship team have produced over the last six months or so. We put those on there for just to help you engage with God, to come before him, to honour him, to bring your best worship and praise uh, to him this morning. And then finally, we've got a real treat with a member of our church, Janet, who's going to be sharing her testimony of perseverance as she heard from God and as she persevered in kind of seeing um, uh, it coming into fruition over many years. Um, so you're really going to enjoy that. So have a great morning. Thank you. Bye bye. I was just checking we're both in the shot. Yeah, you're right. Because Honey jogged the... Uh, uh, honey, do you want to just check your volume levels? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Is that it? Say a bit more. Hey. <laughs> hey, vegan church. <laughs> Seriously. That was Honey. Excellent. And tell us what you're going to be doing. Sorry about the parakeets. Tell us what you're going to be doing. Good morning and welcome to our Sunday morning <laughs> service. <laughs> Honey, as you can see, is really excited about videoing. <laughs> and um, good morning and welcome to our Sunday morning online service. Today we've got the privilege of interviewing and meeting three of our students that next year are going on some new adventures. So I'm going to begin with this young lady to my left. Before we start, I just need to check where we are. The correct distance apart. We're okay. One metre knee to knee. That's okay. So let's continue. So tell us uh, your name and an interesting fact about yourself. Hello, my name's Honey, and an interesting fact mm -hmm. is that my name isn't actually Honey. No. <laughs> um, it's Honey's my middle name. Tess is actually my name. Wow. I never knew that. So. <laughs> Tell us where you are going in September and a little bit about what you're doing. So I will be going to Southampton Uni at the end of September mm -hmm. and I will be studying a business management degree. Very good. And is there anything you're particularly excited about? Um, I'm excited about um, meeting lots of new people and making new friendships. And also because I'll be close to Jasmine as she's in form of me which is only half an hour away. Very good. And uh, anything you're nervous about? Um, I'm nervous about cooking for myself every night. It's going to be a new thing to do. I will be too. <laughs> um, and what would you like us to pray for as a church? Um, just that I settle in quickly and um, just over the next year, I'll make some good friendships. And church? And the church. <laughs> <laughs> good. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Tell us your name and an interesting fact about yourself. Uh, my name is Rachel and an interesting fact is that during lockdown, I tried to learn a bit of German. Wow. Impressive. Um, but didn't get very far. Give us at least one word. Uh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, so, um, well, tell us about what you're doing next year, where you're going, what you're going to do. So, next year I am going to the University of Birmingham to study a medical degree. Impressive. Very good. And what are you most excited about? Um, I'm excited about moving to Birmingham because it's a really exciting city and I'll meet lots of interesting people and obviously studying my course as well. Very good. Is there anything you're particularly nervous about? Um, I'm quite nervous about finding my way around mm -hmm. campus and Birmingham and also having to shop for myself. Yeah, fend for yourself. Um, is there anything you'd like the church to pray for? Um, I'd like prayer that I am able to, ses to settle in, um, find a good church and make some um, good friends. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Hello, tell us your name and an interesting fact about yourself. Uh, my name is Sam and I, uh, yeah, I, I've been playing bass and I enjoy to play bass um, at, at the church for quite a while. 
It's a good way to express music and, and things. Mm -hmm. And tell us what you're doing on September. Um, I am going to Leeds um, to do an impact training year where I'll, where I'll be able to sort of um, do, do hopefully youth work and just figure out how it works to be sort of working in a church setting. Excellent. And what are you most excited about? Um, just, yeah, getting to meet new people and um, sort of uh, get, to, get to experience a new way of doing church and mm -hmm. things in a different setting. And uh, is there anything you're particularly nervous about? I think just settling in and, and getting used to how things will be when I move away mm -hmm. and because I stayed in this area for quite a while. Mm -hmm. and what would you like the church to pray for? Um, just that, yeah, the, the move goes smoothly and, and I'm able to sort of, yeah, just settle in and, and get to know the people um, who I'll be spending a year with. Very good. Thank you. If you're an animal, what would you be? Uh, reindeer. <laughs> <laughs> good. good. If, if you could have a superpower, what would it be? Uh, fly. Fly. Okay. Dear. You've got to answer either or one of these words. Spend or save? Save. <laughs> save? <laughs> Stop! Spend or save? Spend. Spend. Cats or dogs? Dogs. Chocolate or crisps? Crisps. Ant or deck? Yeah. Netflix or YouTube? Netflix. Laundry or dishes? Laundry. Beer or wine? Wine. Really? <laughs> WhatsApp or email? Neither. <laughs> WhatsApp. A TV or a book? TV. <laughs> okay. okay, Rachel, if you're an animal, what would you be? Um, a lion. A lion. If you had a superpower, what would you have? Yeah, to fly. To fly? Spend or save? Save. Cats or dogs? Cats. Chocolate or crisps? Chocolate. Ant or deck? Deck. <laughs> Netflix or YouTube? Netflix. Laundry or dishes? Dishes. Beer or wine? Wine. WhatsApp or email? WhatsApp. TV or a book? Uh, book. Good, thank you. <laughs> if you're an animal, what would you be? Boom. <laughs> oh, baboon. A baboon. Okay, good. If you could have any superpower, what would you have? Uh, teleportation. Wow. Spend or save? Spend. Cats or dogs? Cat. Difficult one for you. You've just upset your dog. Okay. Uh, chocolate or crisps? Chocolate. Ant or deck? Mm, ant. Netflix or YouTube? YouTube. Laundry or dishes? Laundry. Beer or wine? Wine. WhatsApp or email? WhatsApp. TV or a book? TV. Nathan or Jenny? <laughs> Jenny! <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes, I did the right one. Well, I hope you've enjoyed meeting some of our brilliant students, um, Sam, Rachel and Honey, or Tess. Um, it's been really good to just find out what they're doing next year. And the reason we want to do that is so you remember them. So you can obviously make contact with them, uh, not through email, they would all prefer to be WhatsApped. But um, why don't you start I don't, you could even write them a letter. They won't know what to do with a letter once they receive one. They've probably never seen one before. But write them a letter. But just stay in contact and remember to pray for them. You remember some of the prayer points that they brought up. Keep them in your minds and uh, keep praying for them. And we look forward to them coming back at Christmas. I guess that'll be the next time we see them to hearing all that they've got up to. So thank you very much and see you next week. So Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for... Rachel, Honey and Sam. We thank you that they're part of our church family. We thank you that they've largely grown up in this church and um, we want to pray an almighty blessing on them as they go out into their new adventures in different places across this country. We pray that they would uh, know you following them wherever they go, your goodness and mercy following them. I pray that they would have an ever deepening relationship with you as they have to maybe more increasingly trust you and look to you maybe less so on their parents and more yeah, uh, trusting you for each day. I pray they would have really deep, meaningful relationships with people around them, that people that they can disciple, but people that also can disciple them. And we pray that they'd settle in quickly. I pray that they would uh, learn how to trust you for each day and walk with you for each day 
I pray that they'd learn to listen to that internal compass of your Holy Spirit prompting and leading and guiding them into your purposes and your plan for their lives. So we thank you for them and we just pray a great blessing on them over this next year. Amen. Yeah, Father, I just want to lift Sam to you. I just thank you for Sam. I thank you for the blessing that he's been to us at Beacon for for the years that he's been here. I think Sam's been with us since he's since he's been born. Um, so yeah, Father, I, I just want to just want to bless Sam and Sam. I want to say thank you to you for for your service for us over the years um, and just being a part, just belonging and and yeah, just being there. Um, specifically for me from my point of view thank you for being part of the musicians team and for being on projection as well it's been it's been great to worship and be alongside you in that yeah father i i just pray that as sam goes off to mosaic church in leeds um to do an impact year um i just pray that that you would just um you would just put pour out your blessing on sam i pray that i pray that his relationship with you would be Will just become so much closer as he spends this year out father i pray that I pray that he, he would grow as a person and that as well as growing as a person he would just grow spiritually exponentially more than he than he is at the moment father i i just pray that you know he he would become a spiritual giant <laughs> um and, and that he, he, if or when he comes back that he would have some great stories to tell that he would have some encouragement to bring father and that you would just use him as your mouthpiece to spread your word amen i just want to share with you a verse before i, I pray for you so it's john 14 27 and it says i am leaving you with a gift peace of mind and heart and the peace i give is a gift the world cannot give so don't be troubled or afraid um and i just yeah i just pray that um you would just remember that jesus is by your side um and remember that he left you with um, the gift of peace that whenever you feel troubled or worried that you would just give it to him things like coursework i mean you know the drill you've done two years of it already at uni and prior to that the whole of um school as well so yeah i just pray that john 14 27 would go with you and you'd be reminded um that yeah you just need to ask god for peace and, and he will bring it to you um so yeah let, let's just pray so yeah father I, I just thank you for both honey and rachel and i just pray that um yeah they would know that you are their peace and their and their comfort father they could come to you for that um you are their main provider of that and lord i just thank you that you um, walked with them throughout college father i thank you so much that they uh, received the grades they did uh, even though through this pandemic it was all just a bit um, unpredicted but father that they received good enough grades to uh, yeah to go and study what they want to go and study and we're just so thankful for them and lord i thank you for their time that they um that, that they've had it at youth with us and lord although we're going to miss them we're so excited for what's what's coming up what's their, their new journey is going to be um yeah father so we just pray protection over them as they go um that they would make um really good friends um friends that also love you and friends that also can um get to know you as well uh, through them Father, I pray you would use them as, as a vessel um, to yeah, show your light um, and who you are, Father. Yeah, and we just pray that uh, they would find, um, yeah, find, maybe find a church or a Christian union, Lord, uh, or um, something where they would be able to grow in, uh, in their faith and get to know you more, Lord. Um, and yeah, Father, I just pray that you would be their guide. Uh, they would know that you're the one in control. Um, you're the one that they can go to when they're feeling lost and um, yeah, overwhelmed with university things, Lord Jesus. Uh, you would just go with them and be be with them the whole time. And Father, I just thank you that you are going to be with them, uh, Lord Jesus, that you do walk beside us all through all of our troubles. Um, but Father, walk beside them as they go through their joyful times as well. Um, um, yeah, Father, we just thank you for your grace. Thank you for your peace. Um, yeah, in your name. Amen. So, yeah, girls, we're going to miss you, but um, we're going to be praying for you um, lots. And um, 
I can't wait to come back and visit at Christmas. <laughs>